In the grand theater of automotive mastery, there's a creed that the intoxicating rush of victory on the race circuit can spark a flame that fuels sales in the showroom. This ethos has been the lifeblood of many legendary Marques, from the sinuous allure of Ferrari to the unadulterated might of Ford. It's the conviction that the adrenaline-fueled ecstasy of motorsport can be seized, distilled, and then set free on the open road. And in the chronicles of automotive lore, few machines embody this spirit as flawlessly as a certain marvel from the stables of Honda. Honda, a moniker synonymous with pioneering and performance, has always been a titan in the automotive arena. But with the advent of a certain car, they didn't just elevate the standard, they catapulted it into the cosmos. This wasn't merely a car, it was a revolution on wheels, a resounding declaration of Honda's ceaseless quest for automotive supremacy. It was an automobile that would redraw the boundaries of the conceivable, establishing a new yardstick, not just for Honda, but for the entire industry. This car didn't just shift paradigms, it shattered them. It defied the status quo and reimagined what was attainable with front-wheel drive performance. It was an automobile that dared to challenge the norm, and in doing so, it etched an indelible mark on the automotive canvas that echoes to this day. This is not just a tale about a car. It's a narrative about a legacy, a story about how Honda altered the game and left an indelible impact on the automotive world. This is the story of the Integra Type R, a machine that didn't just turn heads, it made hearts race. In the heart of the 90s, the world was in a state of flux. The Cold War had ended, the internet was just beginning to weave its web around the globe, and in the world of automobiles, innovation was accelerating at a breakneck pace. The year was 1995, a time when the Tokyo Auto Show was a spectacle that drew 1.5 million visitors, hungry for a glimpse of the future on four wheels. In this bustling arena, Audi unveiled the TT, a car that would become a design icon. It was also the final curtain call for the NSX Type R, a machine that had left an enduring legacy in the world of high-performance automobiles. Amidst these giants, Honda was preparing to debut the SSM, a roadster that would later evolve into the S2000. For a deeper dive into the evolution and impact of the S2000, be sure to check out our dedicated video on this iconic model. But there was another star waiting in the wings, ready to make its grand entrance. This was not just another car, but a comet that was about to streak across the automotive cosmos. This was the DC-2, emerging not merely as a car, but as a phenomenon in the Japanese domestic market. This wasn't just another car rolling off the production line. It was a seismic shift, the birth of a legend. From the moment the curtain was lifted, the DC-2 demanded the spotlight. Its sleek silhouette and predatory posture were a testament to Honda's unwavering dedication to performance and aesthetics. But the DC-2 was not just a beautiful facade. Underneath its striking shell pulsed a heart of raw power, ready to shatter the glass ceiling of what was deemed possible. The reverberations were immediate and far-reaching. The DC-2 didn't just turn heads, it spun the entire industry on its axis. Critics were left speechless, Competitors were left in the dust, and drivers... Drivers were left with a thirst that could only be quenched by the adrenaline rush of the DC-2. It was a bold proclamation from Honda, a manifesto of their ambition to push the envelope of performance. And the world was on the edge of its seat, watching, waiting, eager to witness the feats this new challenger could achieve. It was a symphony of design, a ballet of form and function that mesmerized all who beheld it. The front end was characterized by its distinctive headlight design, a signature feature that immediately set the DC-2 apart from the crowd. The low, wide stance exuded an aura of raw power and agility, while the streamlined aerodynamic profile hinted at the car's impressive speed capabilities. The DC-2's design went beyond mere visual appeal. Each line, curve, and detail was thoughtfully crafted with a focus on performance. The lightweight body, the aerodynamic form, the strategically positioned air intakes. All these elements conspired to enhance the car's speed, handling, and fuel efficiency. The result was a car that didn't just look fast, it was a blur on the horizon. A car that didn't just turn heads, it made hearts skip a beat. The DC-2's design was a perfect marriage of form and function, 
a testament to Honda's philosophy that a car's aesthetics should not be an afterthought, but an integral part of its performance. This commitment to design was a key factor in the DC2's immediate acclaim and enduring appeal. It wasn't just a car, it was a masterpiece on wheels. Underneath the chiseled hood of the DC2 resided the beating heart of this automotive beast, a shining example of Honda's engineering wizardry. The 1.8-liter DOHC VTEC inline four-cylinder engine, affectionately known as the B18C, was more than just a power plant. It was the very soul of the DC2. The B18C was a marvel of engineering, a symphony of metal and motion that transformed fuel and air into raw, unadulterated power. Its dual overhead cam design and Honda's revolutionary VTEC system allowed for a high-revving, high-output engine that delivered a driving experience that was nothing short of exhilarating. The engine was capable of producing an impressive horsepower, a clear demonstration of Honda's dedication to performance. Similarly, the B18C was not simply a source of raw power. It represented a delicate balance, a symphony of strength and efficiency. The VTEC system allowed for variable valve timing, optimizing performance at both low and high RPMs. This meant that the DC2 could deliver blistering speed on the open road, yet remain docile and efficient in city driving. The B18C was also a clear demonstration of Honda's dedication to reliability. Despite its high performance, the engine was designed to withstand the rigors of daily driving, providing a level of durability that was rare in such a high-performance car. The result was a car that delivered an exhilarating driving experience. A car that could go from docile to ferocious at the drop of a hat. The DC2's engine mirrored the essence of the car. Potent, efficient, dependable, and above all, exhilarating. From the moment you slipped into the driver's seat, gripped the wheel, and ignited the B18C engine, you were not merely driving, you were embarking on an adventure. The car was a symphony of speed and precision a ballet of power and control. The handling of the DC2 was nothing short of extraordinary. The car responded to your every command, moving with a precision and agility that transformed every twist and turn into an exhilarating dance. The steering was sharp and responsive, the suspension firm yet forgiving, striking a perfect balance between comfort and performance. The DC2 was a car that didn't just follow your directions, it eerily preempted them. But don't just take our word for it. Renowned automotive journalist Jeremy Clarkson once said, The Type R is a car that makes you feel like a better driver. The thrill of the VTEC kicking in, the surge of power as the revs climb, the sensation of the car hugging the road as you carve through corners, these are experiences that have left an indelible mark on those who have had the privilege of driving the DC2. Another testimonial comes from Keiichi Tsuchiya, often known as the Drift King, who spoke of the pure joy of driving the DC2 of the connection between man and machine. These are not just cars, they are experiences, memories, and moments of pure, unadulterated joy. It's a car that doesn't just move, it dances. It doesn't just accelerate, it f***ing leaps. It doesn't just drive, it sings. And for those fortunate enough to experience it, the song of the DC2 is one that echoes in their hearts long after the drive is over. The car was a damn titan on the racetrack. Its badassery in motorsport is a key chapter in the DC2's epic saga. From the moment it strutted its stuff on the racing circuit, the DC2 made damn sure everyone knew it was there. Its cocktail of power, precision, and durability made it a force to be reckoned with. A car that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of the best. The DC2 didn't just show up to races. It owned them. One of the most badass achievements of the DC2 was its success in the Japanese Touring Car Championship. The DC2's performance in this cutthroat series was nothing short of mind-blowing. It didn't just win races, it did so with a consistency and reliability that left its competitors eating dust. The DC2's legacy wasn't confined to its trophy collection. It shattered preconceptions, setting a new benchmark for what a front-wheel drive performance vehicle could achieve. The DC2's success shook up the status quo and inspired a new generation of racers and engineers to push the envelope. Motorsport legend Artin Senna once said, Racing, competing, it's in my blood. It's part of me. It's part of my life. This sentiment was the lifeblood of the DC2. It was a car that lived for the thrill of competition, a car that was born to race. The DC2's triumphs in motorsport bolstered its reputation and cemented its place in automotive history. 
The machine was a catalyst, a spark that ignited a revolution in the world of performance vehicles. Its influence rippled far beyond its production years, shaping the design and engineering of subsequent Honda models and leaving a permanent mark on the automotive industry. The DC2's legacy can be seen in the DNA of every performance car that Honda has churned out since. From the Civic Type R to the NSX, the spirit of the DC2 lives on, its influence evident in every line, every curve, every roar of the engine. But the DC2's legacy isn't just about the cars that followed in its tire tracks. It's about the people who drove them. The DC2's enduring popularity among enthusiasts is a testament to its impact. It's a car that captured the hearts and imaginations of drivers around the world. A car that continues to inspire a sense of awe and admiration. Car enthusiast and journalist Matt Farah once said, the DC2 Type R might be the best front-wheel drive sports car ever. This sentiment is echoed by countless enthusiasts who have experienced the thrill of driving a DC2. In the twilight of the DC2's reign, a new day was dawning. The torch was being passed, and the stage was being set for the next act in the Integra Type R drama. The dawn of the new millennium was a time of great anticipation and change. The world was stepping into the digital age, the internet was rapidly transforming the way we lived, and in the realm of automobiles, the pace of innovation was relentless. The year was 2001, a time when the Detroit Auto Show was a spectacle that drew millions of visitors, all eager for a glimpse of the future of automotive design. In this vibrant setting, BMW unveiled the Mini Cooper. Mini Coopers suck. Moving on, it was also the year when the iconic Dodge Viper would receive a significant redesign, possibly its worst redesign ever. Amidst these manufacturers, Acura, Honda's U.S. domestic market's luxury division, was gearing up to introduce a successor to the legendary DC2 that would carry forward its legacy. This was the RSX, stepping onto the stage not merely as a car, but as a new chapter in the Type R saga. This wasn't just another model rolling off the production line, it was a bold leap forward, the birth of a new legend. As the curtain lifted, revealing the striking silhouette of the DC5, it was clear that a fresh narrative in the Type R story had been written. It was a resounding statement that Honda wasn't about to rest on the laurels of the DC2's success. They were determined to push the boundaries even further. The excitement surrounding the DC5 was palpable. The world had experienced the prowess of the DC2, and they were eager to see what Honda had in store with the DC5. It was the next step in the evolution of the Integra Type R. It was a machine that bore the legacy of the DC2, but with fresh eyes and a new dream. It was a beast that pledged to push the envelope even further, to catapult the Type R to dizzying new heights. The buzz was electric. The world had gotten a taste of what Honda could whip up with the DC2, and they were salivating for the next course. The DC5 was unveiled amidst a whirlwind of fanfare, and the initial reactions were a resounding chorus of approval. The car world was humming with anticipation, itching to see this new challenger in the ring. The year 2001 was a landmark in the automotive timeline. It was the year that the DC5 made its grand entrance in Japan, heralding a new epic for the Integra Type R. As the curtain rose, unveiling the dynamic form of the DC5, it was evident that a new chapter in the Type R saga had been penned. It was a clear signal that they weren't about to coast on the laurels of the DC2's success. They were hell-bent on pushing the damn envelope even further. The hype surrounding the DC5 was electric. The world had witnessed the might of the DC2, and they were chomping at the bit to see what Honda had up its sleeve with the DC5. The excitement wasn't just about the car itself, but about what it symbolized. The evolution of the Integra Type R, the promise of even more kick-ass performance, and the continuation of a legacy that had stolen the hearts of car nuts around the globe. The DC5 was the start of a new adventure, an adventure that promised to take the Type R to new heights of performance and fame. While it carried the spirit of the DC2, the DC5 brought its own unique swagger to the table. The design of the DC5 was a badass blend of aggression and elegance. It maintained the iconic low-wide stance of the DC2, but introduced a more streamlined aerodynamic silhouette. The front end was a departure from the DC2's quad headlight design, featuring a sleek, single headlight layout that gave the car a modern, aggressive look. The rear of the DC5 was equally distinctive. The square taillights of the DC2 were swapped out for a round, high-mounted cluster, 
giving the car a unique, recognizable signature. The addition of a prominent rear spoiler not only amped up the car's sporty aesthetics, but also improved downforce and stability at high speeds. Every element of the machine was meticulously crafted with performance in mind. The aerodynamic shape reduced drag, the strategically placed air intakes improved engine cooling, and the lightweight body enhanced speed and handling. The outcome was an automobile that didn't merely appear speedy. It was a missile on wheels. Beneath the chiseled hood of the DC-5, a marvel of engineering roared to life. The K-Series 2-liter engine. The new engine was a damn revolution. A ballsy leap forward in Honda's crusade for the sweet spot between performance and efficiency. The heart of the DC-5 was a significant evolution from its predecessor. The beefed-up displacement cranked up the horsepower, morphing the drive from a joyride to a white-knuckle thrill-fest. The intelligent VTEC system, a stellar evolution of Honda's groundbreaking VTEC, allowed for variable valve timing and lift. This meant the engine could juggle performance across the entire rev range, dishing out power when you craved it, and sipping fuel when you eased off. The throttle response was instant and pinpoint. The power delivery is smooth as silk. The engine's growl was a symphony of sound that screamed of raw power and untapped potential. It was an engine that transformed the DC-5 from just a car into a heart-pounding, adrenaline-pumping experience. Yet the brilliance of the DC-5's powertrain wasn't limited to its outstanding capabilities alone. Every component, every damn detail, was painstakingly designed and crafted to ensure reliability and longevity. This was an engine built to kick ass, built to endure. It showcased Honda's aptitude for harmonizing speed and fuel economy, crafting an engine that stood as an emblem of both strength and durability, while also being parsimonious with fuel. The DC-5's driving experience was a revelation. It was as if Honda had taken the DC-2's raw, unfiltered thrill, refined it, sharpened it, and then sprinkled in a touch of class. The car was more poised, more balanced, and yet it kept that spark that electrifying rush that made the DC-2 such a blast to drive. Piloting the DC-5 was like strumming a perfectly tuned guitar. Every nudge, every shift was met with a response that was immediate and spot on. This car was nimble, reactive, and bloody engaging. It was a machine that demanded your focus, your reverence. And when you offered it that, it paid you back with a driving experience that was nothing short of a roller coaster ride. The DC-5's handling was a masterstroke in balance and control. The car's frame was rock solid, its suspension firm yet supple. This was a car that felt anchored, secure, even when the speedometer was nudging the red line. The steering was razor sharp, the feedback from the asphalt communicated clearly through the wheel. It was a car that egged you on to push harder, to test its boundaries. The DC-5's handling was about connection. It was about the symbiosis between driver and machine about the sense of oneness that comes from a car that dances to your every command. It was a car that made you feel in the driver's seat, that made you feel invincible. Driving the DC-5 was an experience that made you feel like a pro behind the wheel. It was a car that challenged you, that nudged you, but it was also a car that was incredibly forgiving. It was a car that you could push to the brink and beyond, and it would always be there, always ready to save your bacon if you goofed up. The DC-5's enhanced driving experience wasn't just recognized by drivers and experts. It was felt by every single soul who got behind the wheel. It was a car that made you feel alive. A car that turned every trip, every drive, into an epic adventure. Driving the DC-5 was an experience that made you fall head over heels for driving all over again. It was a car that reminded you why you were smitten with cars in the first place. It was a car that turned every drive into a spectacle. The DC-5's venture into the motorsport universe was a gripping tale of victories and hurdles. From the moment it scorched the tarmac, the DC-5 was a force to reckon with. Its stellar performance and blistering speed swiftly marked it as a formidable adversary. However, the path to glory wasn't a cakewalk. The DC-5 had to square off against fierce rivals, not just from other manufacturers, but also from its own bloodline, the legendary DC-2. The DC-5 had a colossal legacy to shoulder, and the bar was set sky high. However, the story ran deeper than merely tallying gold medals. It encapsulated the DC-5's demonstrated tenacity and resilience in the face of challenges. The narrative encompassed the car's propensity for pushing limits and triumphing over obstacles. The DC-5's prowess on the track was a mirror image of its performance on the road. 
The nimbleness, reactivity, and balance that made it a dream to drive were also what made it a beast on the track. The DC5 was a car that felt as much at home on the race circuit as it did on the open highway. Behind the DC5's motorsport success was a crew of dedicated individuals, the engineers, the drivers, the support staff. Their passion, dedication, and unyielding chase for performance were instrumental in the DC5's accolades. They were the ones who saw the potential in the DC5 and worked their asses off to bring it to fruition. In the motorsport world, the DC5 was more than just a car. It was a machine that carried forward the legacy of the Type R and carved its own niche in the process. Despite the hurdles, the DC5 proved its worth on the track and earned its spot in the Hall of Fame of Performance Cars. The saga of the DC5 is a tale of tenacity, excellence, and a pivotal chapter in the Type R Chronicle. Its spot in the lineage of the Integra Type R isn't just as a successor, but as a car that carried the torch from its predecessor and blazed its own trail in the motorsport universe. The DC5, much like the legendary DC2 before it, was a machine that personified Honda's ethos of crafting vehicles that aren't just fast, but a bloody joy to drive. It was a car that was designed with the driver at its heart. A car that was as much about the ride as it was about the finish line. The DC5's enduring popularity among gearheads is a nod to its timeless allure. Even years after its production came to a halt, the DC5 continues to be a hot ticket among car buffs. Its blend of performance, handling, and reliability make it a car that's not just a blast to drive, but also practical for the daily grind. The DC5's legacy transcends to its impact on the automotive sphere. It was a car that stretched the limits of the feasible, a car that bucked the trend and set new benchmarks for performance and handling. The DC5 was a car that wasn't scared to square off against the titans of the automotive world. It was a car that wasn't cowed by the competition, but instead, used it as fuel to push harder, to go faster, and to strive for the top. The DC5's legacy is also about the people behind it. The engineers, the drivers, the support crew. Their passion, dedication, and tireless quest for performance were key in the DC5's triumph. They were the ones who saw the potential in the DC5 and worked their fingers to the bone to bring it to life. The DC5's legacy is a story of wins and woes, of victories and hiccups, of grit and resolve. It's a story that continues to stoke the passion of car enthusiasts around the globe. A story that's as relevant today as it was when the DC5 first roared onto the track. The Integra Type R, a tale of the DC2 and DC5, has carved its legacy deep into the heart of the automotive world. Despite their years, continue to captivate enthusiasts with their charisma and distinctive character. Their machines crafted to transform driving into an exhilarating journey. As we stand on the brink of a new era where engineers hold the controls, Honda continues to paint grander designs. The Integra Type R and the DC5, backed by an orchestra of four cylinders, sing in the same key as the original DC2. Honda's vision, a blend of science and art, has given the world the Type R, a vehicle that continues to inspire and will forever be celebrated. Because if the past is any indication, we know that Honda will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. It's just getting started.